I get older, I get better, I look better, I have more money, life is just all around better. But occasionally, I do some stupid things. Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. Hey y'all, it's Kyla Denayo, and today we're talking all about the stupid things I won't do when I'm old. <laughs> the author of the book is Steven Petrol. The genre of the book is nonfiction. The theme of the book is literary criticisms, okay? I don't know why they tagged it that. I would call it hilarious, all right? It's, it's biography-esque, right? Because Stephen Petra is writing about his own life. He talks about his parents. He talks about his husband. He talks about his sisters. He talks about his life, right? One of my favorite quotes from the book is right here. He says, growing old is not the same as growing ill. And the reason why that's so important to me is because I will be 40 this year. Four zero, 40. And I don't feel a day over 22. I, I have a lot more experience, a lot more wisdom. I, I, I don't feel 40. 40 seems so big to me, okay? And I picked up this book because I've, I've been feeling a way. I've never been the type to do like resolutions for the new year. But the year changed and I was like 40. Like it just felt like it should be a bigger deal than it was. And, and so I've been reading books about it, okay? And this one was a great one that I picked up. For one, it immediately went on my annual reread list, okay? Because it's so relevant. So this book mentions a lot of studies about how you're not old. Old is considered 75, 80 years old and plus, okay? And I'm reading it and I'm like, I'm not 75. If I have another 35 years to do all the things in the world I wanna do, yes. And it was at that moment that a light bulb went off. And I was like, I'm almost 40. If I have another 35 years, that's less time than I have now. I could be a rock star in 35 years. I was like, do you know how many more things I could do in 35 years than I've done in the last 40? Mind you, I learned how to read, I learned how to walk, I did all these monumental things. But let's say I became an adult after college. And then I went to law school for three years. So let's say I became an adult after all of the school age stuff. That's like 13 years of being an adult. But I got another 35 years to have all the knowledge that I have now. Oh my goodness. So by far, the most exciting thing about this book is just the fact that you are the age that you are. And you need to prepare for the fact that should you live 10, 15, 20, 35 more years, why would you act like you're surprised by that when you could actively prepare for it now, right? If you start to feel something, don't lie to your doctor. That's a stupid thing you can do when you get older. If you're having difficulty driving or singing, get some glasses. <laughs> Don't be so stubborn. That's a stupid thing that people do when they're older. Oh no, I can see just fine. You can't, you can't. Waiting to get a lot of money so that you can retire. Waiting for things to finally settle and feel right. When I'm 40, I'm gonna be established. Well, guess what? Stuff's gonna change when you're 40. Stuff's gonna change when I'm 45. Stuff's gonna change, it changed when I was 25. It's always gonna change. Life changes, life evolves. You know what I mean? And that was what really helped me with this book because he deals with a lot of the silly cliches that people say. But realistically, you are as old as you feel. There was a study where they took all these people that were older in age and they just kept telling them, oh, you're 50, oh, you're 50, oh, you're 45. And guess what? These 70 and 80 year olds were getting up, running around doing all the stuff that they did when they were 45 and 50, not in like a weird dementia kind of way, but like they were, they believe that they had that energy because they kept telling themselves that. And so that made me happy because I'm allowed to have days where I feel tired, <laughs> regardless of my age. Some days I'm just exhausted, some days I'm absolutely beat, and that happens, you know what I mean? And that's okay. But also, I don't have to do stupid things as I get older. Thank you, Steven, for letting me know. <laughs> Don't do these stupid things when you get older because you're getting older every single minute. I'm, I'm not trying to depress you, but every minute you are older than you were before, all right? So as I continue to age towards 40, check out this video here where I talk all about my dream life and all the things I'm gonna get as I continue to age. See you in the next video.